if we can get our radio connected up here in just a moment. We aren't getting anything through it. I don't know what has happened with it. There we are. Now we're set to go. A reminder, of course, tonight we'll be at home as the Fergus Falls Otters, the second unbeaten team in the city of Fergus Falls, will be going against the Bemidji Lumberjacks in what has to be a big ball game for those two teams. The officials out on the field, and we are ready to go. Nine-man football, and for you folks who have not uh, seen a nine-man encounter before, the field, of course, is just 80 yards long. It is a narrower field, and of course, a very wide open football game as you take a couple of interior linemen out of the ball game for both teams in the nine-man variety. Hillcrest will kick off from our right side as getting ready to kick off will be Kevin Simonson. He's a 5'11", 155-pound senior. We'll take a look now as Audubon will go back deep with Jay Johnson on the near side with Rick Kohler as they run with two men deep. Marchenbecker, the short man up the middle, and I'll tell you, he is really built right down on the ground. All right, Simonson ready. Waiting for the whistle. There it is. Simonson comes forward to kick. It's a squiver taken on the near side, getting up to the 35 to the or the 30-yard line and out of bounds. That time goes uh, Todd Brandon, the end. And he was hit there by Jerry Martinson. Right smack dab on the 30. That was a squibber type kick. He did not get uh, the end over end effect of the end of the kickoff, and they had a little trouble with it. All right, ready to go now. Let's see how they go defensively. They stack up with two down linemen, actually a four man front. Wing on the left side as they run out of a deuce backfield. Quarterback, hands off, trying to get some room to the outside is Rick Kohler, and Kohler's going to get to the 30, and that's all he's stacked up there. Coming away from the ball, number 33 is Jeff Martinson, first to pop him, and then he got a lot of help. Also, Mike Stand in on the defensive play. It'll be a second down, and for all intents, 10. Audubon's Machenbecker coming up over the ball. Lay flank on the right side. The flank man is Makala. Out of a deuce backfield. Pitchers back. Trying to get outside is Jay Johnson. He's going to be hit down for a loss of one. First one to get to him on the play has to be credited to Todd Matheson, number 82. Third down now, and let's make it 11 yards to go as the Audubon Zephyr is unable to get untracked here in the early goal. Oh, they got a number changer. Stendrude is 82, not Matheson. Now we got it correct. Flank on the left side. Back to throw Kohler. Has time. Fires up the middle. Incomplete, and then intercepts it on the tip. Let's see who comes up with it. Number 31 coming away with the ball is Mike Strand, and the guy who made the defensive play, however, was Terry Langley. He tipped it away from the in intended receiver. Strand picked it up, and quickly, Hillcrest with the ball at their own 37. Up over the ball comes Peterson. They line up in an eye formation. They pop their flanker onto the right side. Langley down underneath. Langley hands off. Trying to get outside is Strand. Strand is over the 40 and down to the 34-yard line. Territory of Ottoman. Hog wrestled to the turf at that time by Jay Johnson, but not until he picked up about eight yards on the play. Let's call it second and two. <laughs> Hillcrest coming out. Let's watch Audubon as they go. They have four men up front. Linebackers in very tight. Back to throw. Looking for someone out on the side. Complete. I believe to Martinson. That'd be Jerry Martinson. No, incomplete. Out of bounds on the far side. Got his hands on good defensive play over there on the play by uh, Brent Munchenbecker to knock it away. At the last minute, we thought he held it as he went down, but he had lost it. And we're completely across the field, and that's not an excuse. That's just a fact. Third down and still about the two to go. Out of a deuce, out of a wishbone tee this time. There's a hand of Martinson. He's going to have the first down as he gets just short of the 30-yard line in Audubon territory. First 
first and ten as the nose of the football will nestle the 30 in the territory of Audubon. Peterson quickly up over the ball. They line up in the wishbone tee again. Langley, the quarterback, barks out the signal. Langley hands off, stand, try to get outside, gets over the 30 to the 28, hit down there on a the play by Randy Sherbrooke. Number 34 up there to pop him quickly. Let's give him about two on it, make it second down and eight yards to go. Gilchrist up, Peterson up over the ball. Let's see how they go. They flank on the left side this time. They put Jacobus as a flank, run out of the eye. Hand off Martinson, battles up the middle, and he's going to get to the 23-yard line. On about the 23, it'll be a third down. They've still got about three yards to go for the first down. First ball possession for Hillcrest. They stopped Audubon the first time they had the old pig. They run out of the wishbone again. Langley, the quarterback. Langley down the line, rides to the outside, turns inside. He's inside the 20 to the 19 and a half yard line. Rode down the line, put the ball in the back stomach, rode with him about two steps, pulled it out, went to the outside, and it's first and 10 Hillcrest just inside the 20 yard line territory of Audubon. Hillcrest quickly up over the ball again. Jacobus flanks on the right side. Four man defense in front with linebackers up in tight. There's a keep by Langley. Bust through, pops the ball up, and it's picked out of the air, I believe, by Stemdrude. Yeah, Stemdrude, right in the right place at the right time, and he picks it up at about the 13 yard line. When you're living right, everything goes right. When you aren't, it's a better day than dead. All right, it'll be a second down now and about three to go. Peterson coming up over the ball as they put Jacobus at the flank on the right side. Actually a five-man defensive front right now. Langley down the line. Langley looks for someone. Wide open. Incomplete. Pass was intended for Jeff Martinson. Overthrew him at about the three-yard line. If he'd have been about seven foot tall, he might have had a shot at that one. But only Bill Colbeck is looking for seven footers. All right, it'll be a third down now and still about the three yards to go. Oh, he was open. Up again, run out of the wishbone, jamming the defense as they go, actually goal line defense right now. There's five men up front. There's the ball fumble, and I believe it comes up with it is Audubon's number 32, Mutzenbecker. And they have the ball at their own 13-yard line, first and 10 at that point. Well, I tell you this, Mutzenbecker, if you are an old-timer and you saw the old pot-bellied stoves, that's the way he's built, right down on the ground. He's got stove legs that are... Uh, about as round as most people's waist. Hand off first man through, no running room. He'll get to about the 13 and that's it. Making the defensive play, we gotta give Danny Brew credit. He was the first one to him, number 7-0. They line up. Let's watch how Hillcrest go. It looks like they're going to go odd man on the defense this time. Nope, uh, even. They go four-man front. There's a the handoff trying to get some room. It's Jay Johnson. There he is. No room. He ran into a stone wall. Brew is there. Also there on the play, we see Martinson. That would be uh, Jerry Martinson. And down on the ground, one of the Zephyrs. <laughs> Nothing, nothing here in the first period. The Ottoman Zephyrs of Joe Silovich and the Crest Academy Comets of Dick Rich Hillcrest, of course, unbeaten so far on the season. They opened up against Tendrum, whopped them 16 to 8, then shut out Gary 28 to nothing, and then defeated Rotsy a week ago 36 6. For uh, Audubon, they are 1 and 2 on the season. Still waiting to see what the situation will be on this. And while we have a moment here, while there's an injury on the field, let's, let's go back and listen to this very excellent word. See why more, more. As it's scoreless here at Hillcrest, the Hillcrest Academy Comets and the Ottoman Zephyrs. And of course, as we mentioned earlier, we have another ball game tonight. It's homecoming up at uh, Fergus Falls High School. 
And Jack Bess is going to go down and uh, talk uh, with Joe Selovich and see uh, just uh, if we can get some kind of an indication as to what type of an injury it may have been. And of course, this is just smart business to be very careful with things like this. to go again as uh, Audubon will come offensively now. They recovered a fumble. They have a third down and they have about nine and a half yards to go. Up over the ball. They line up in a deuce. Franks on the left side. Back to throw is Kohler. Kohler being harassed and thrown down. Back at about the five yard line by Peterson. Peterson making the defensive play. It'll be a fourth down and a long, long ways to go. Actually about 17 for the first down. Jack, do you have any idea what it might be? The coach said he wasn't sure. One of the other coaches said he doesn't think anything's broken. The kid has feelings, but they aren't taking a chance. So they're gonna... Okay, and that's just what we talked about. Coaches don't want to take any chances with these young fellas. Motion backer back in punt formation. Oh, he gets a bouncer back to him. And he did not get it away. Touchdown for Hillcrest. Who will come away with the ball? Number 44 is Johansson. The ball was snapped up. momentarily lost our uh, signal from uh, the football field. We'll be trying to rectify that situation and bring you the rest of the game. So please stand by. Hi, right, we're back again, and I don't know what's wrong with this cotton picking equipment. We didn't touch a thing here, and it came back on again. So uh, your guess is as good as ours, and maybe we should say, Jack, that the station would take any donations they might get in order to buy a decent piece of equipment. And tomorrow we'll probably be looking for another job. Well, Hillcrest out in front, eight to nothing. And while we were gone, here's an injury to one of the Hillcrest players, is Dan Blue, I believe, down on the field. Eight to nothing. And if we were cut off just about the time we were trying to get that all going, Martin Backer was back in his end zone trying to boot it out of there. He got a, a dribbler, it rolled on the ground. He picked it up by that time. They got to him, and Johansson fell on the ball in the end zone. I made it six nothing. Stan got the two extra points, and that's where that's where we are right now. All right, there's a handoff trying to go around the outside. Is Rick Kohler? Rick Kohler can't turn the corner. Hit down at the 18-yard line. Over there making the defensive play, Brent Jacobus. <laughs> down and he's still got about eight yards to go as the ball nuzzles to the 20-yard line in the territory of the Zephyrs of Audubon. Eight to nothing here in the first period. We haven't had an indication as to how much time he has left in the period. A lot of things uh, have happened in the period, so we'll have to wait until it runs out. Alan Berkowitz comes up over the ball. They flank on the right side. Out of a deuce. Kohler back to throw. Up the middle, intercepted by Langley. Langley to the far side to the 18, down to the 10, and down to about the three-yard line. Hit out of bounds over there by Kohler, who threw the pass, and also assisting over there was Ron Makala. Hillcrest playing zone on the pass defense, and Langley just stepped in as they tried to hit it in the seam. And uh, rambled down, let's put it on closer to the four-yard line. Peterson up over the ball as Hillcrest come offensively again. They line up in a wishbone tee. The short man is Jacobus. Langley, the quarterback, barks out the signals. Hands off Martinson, trying to get outside. He won't hit at the line of scrimmage. The guy that got to him first and really slowed things up was uh, Pete Guttenberg, 190-pound junior. And by the time they spun Martinson around, some help. At the Hillcrest leading it. Eight to nothing and threatening again here in the first period. Out of an eye formation. Frank left goal line defense. Hand off Sand. Puts his head down. He's at the one yard line. Bad 
in there on the defensive. Now we're back again. <laughs> Somebody's playing somebody. And at last report, it was 16 to nothing, Hillcrest out in front. And I don't know whether anything's happened since then or not, but we're going to take it from there. Sixteen and nothing, Hillcrest out in front. We're in the first period. And to just bring you up to date, if you wonder about it, Johansson scored when Machenbecker got a bad snap from center in the end zone, and Ma uh, Johansson fell on it for the first touchdown. Strandon went in with the two extra points. It was eight to nothing. Jacobus from one yard out made it 14 to nothing. Martinson, that's Jeff Martinson, with the extra points made it 16 to nothing. That brings us up to date now as Machenbecker is back trying to punt again. He'll punt the way a ball away somewhere around his own 16-yard line as Strandon goes back just outside his 21. There's a snap. It's high. The kick. It's blocked. Rolls down and Martinson picks it up and is out of bounds at the three. The punt was blocked that time by Jeff Martinson. And Hillcrest will have the ball at the four-yard line territory of the Audubon Zephyrs. And it's going to be a long afternoon for the Zephyrs. Hillcrest coming up over the ball. First and goal at the four. I formation. Frank Wright. Langley the quarterback. Langley keeps Rose backside. No room to go. Flag on the play. Good defensive play on the corner. Coming up making was Ron Makala. We see a flag on the play and we'd make a guess here as a hold. <laughs> They step the penalty off against Hillcrest. They'll bring it back over to about the 19-yard line. Holding against the Hillcrest Academy Comets. They have first and still goal to go, this time from their own 19. 16 to nothing. They lead it here in the first period of play. Jacobus goes as a flank on the right side. Five-man line for all intents. Langley back to throw. Langley looking. Langley wanted to throw the screen, but they had it picked off. Pass it to Martinson. He's popped down by Makala as he gets to the 13. Good defensive play by Makala. 16 to nothing. Hillcrest out in front. Agassiz Valley Conference football play from Hillcrest. Hillcrest looking for their fourth win. Audubon looking for their second. Audubon are one and two on the season. Audubon have a lot of young, excellent looking young football players. But right now you got to play it for today. 16 nothing. Hillcrest out in front. Time out. We go back for this. Buy your lawn and leisure time equipment where you find. Well, we're back again. Hillcrest coming up over the ball. They have second down and still goal to go. Langley back to throw. Hey, look, his man is there and overthrows him. Pass intended for Jacobus. Covering was Makala, but the pass was thrown wildly over the head of Jacobus. The closest one to it was Makala. It'll be third down and still a fur piece to go. It'll be third down and about that. Uh, 13 yards to go for the TD. All this action started at the four. Out of a deuce backfield, flank left. Langley pitches back, half back pass. Martinson fires it out on the side. Caught and inbounds at about the one yard line. Good play by Strand. He kept both his feet in, leaned out over the out of bounds line, caught the ball and fell out of bounds. 
Fourth down and about a yard to go. Halfback pass that time as Martinson cranked it up. Jeff Martinson, the passer. Hillcrest up over the ball. They've already tallied 16 in a period. It seemed like this period's about six weeks long. Langley, hands off. Martinson, the touchdown. Jeff Martinson with the touchdown. And here in the first period, the Hillcrest Academy Comets leading it 22 to zip over the Ottoman Zephyrs. Hillcrest up over the ball. Peterson leads him out. Jacobus is a short man in the wishbone this time. Langley rolls out. Langley rolls right. Heads in. He's in. And it's 24 to nothing. Hillcrest over Ottoman. We'll go back for this word. Remodeling is easy with the help of Lampert Building Center's remodeling service in Fergus Falls. At higher costs lead to higher rates. Outer Tail Power Company of Fergus. <laughs> And it's 24 to nothing, Hillcrest out in front. We still have time left in the opening period. The kick. Down, picked off back there. And coming, trying to come around the right side is Brandon. And Brandon is hit down as he gets over the 20 to the 22-yard line. Johansson, first one to get to him on the popper. First down and 10, the Audubon Zephyrs, they trail 24 to nothing here in the first period of play. And we gotta be late, late in the period. They're discussing something with Machenbecker. We don't see any flag. Yes, there is, I guess, back here. There's something yellow laying out here, I don't know. It must be the flag, it must have been an offside against Hillcrest on the kickoff. <laughs> There it is, offside against Hillcrest on the kickoff. Declined by Audubon as they have field position at their 22-yard line. Up over the ball, they flank around on the right side as McCalla goes into the flank. Call it a quarterback, back to throw, fires it out, incomplete. That time McKellar went down about seven yards and squared to the outside, Langley over covering, but the pass was uh, badly thrown. McKellar had no chance to get to it. Second down and 10 yards to go. Had plenty of time to throw the ball that time. 24 to nothing. <laughs> Ready to go again. Out of a deuce backfield. Flank left. Hand up Mochenbacker. Puts his head down. Fights off a couple of tackles and goes to the 33. I tell you, he'd be something to bring down. I would judge he's probably only about five, six or so. Very short-legged. And it weighs 200 pounds. And there's not too much to grab down there. All right. Ready to go again. Coming up over the ball is Burquist. They line up in a deuce backfield. Frank Wright. Call her hands off first man. No place to go. Rick Kohler trying to find some running room. Just wasn't any. We have two Kohlers in now. Right. Donnie is the quarterback and Rick is the running back. And there is the end of the first period with the score. Hillcrest Academy 24, Audubon nothing. We'll be back after this word. For quality name brand building and decorating supplies. Wrapping him up was Pete Gottenberg, and Gottenberg had help after he got to him. But let's put it on the 32, 31-yard line. First and 10, Hillcrest. So far in the ball game, Audubon have not been over the midfield stripes. 24 to nothing. Hillcrest lead it after one. They come out in an I formation. Flank right. Four down linemen for Audubon. There's the handoff. Getting some room is Strand. He's going to get to the 35, and that's it. Gottenberg, Mutchenbecker, and also in on the play, Rick Kohler. They say the knee went down just over the 35-yard line. Let's give him four, make it second down and six. Hillcrest quickly out over the ball. Peterson leads him out. 
Line up in a deuce again. Frank on the right side, jamming the defense. Let's see how they go. There's Langley handing off to Strand. Strand cuts to the outside, hit down as he gets to the midfield stripe. Good fake that time to Mortensen. Mortensenbecker was not fooled, nor was Ron McKella. And they hit Strand down as he got just short of the 40-yard line. It'll be a third down and a long one to go. 24 to nothing. Surprisingly, Hillcrest have busted out in front quickly. Up over the ball. Out of a wishbone tee. There's a handoff. Trying to bust through as Jacobus, and Jacobus does. He gets over the 35-yard line in the territory of Audubon, where it'll be enough for the first down. First and 10 Audubon as they just roll merrily along. Or, uh, excuse me, Hillcrest as they roll merrily along. Early here in the second period. Peterson up over the ball. The short man in the eye is Jeff Martinson. The deep man stand the flanker. Jacobus back to toe. Langley, his man is there. Overthrows him at about the five. Mackela back on the coverage. Pass is intended downfield for Jerry Martinson. Langley does not throw with a free full arm, and he just cannot get enough mustard on the ball when it comes to throwing anything deep. Second down and still 10 yards to go. He'll catch up over the ball. Second rank nine man team in the state of Minnesota at this point. There's Langley rolling. Block out in front is Jeffers. Jeff Martinson and Langley's going to be hit down as he gets to the 30 yard line. Guttenberg over there again. Also assisting on the play with Paul Kim. Just shy of the 30. And it'll be a third down and about six yards to go. No time clock here, so we can't give you the time. But the way that first quarter went, I think we could have used a calendar to time it. It seemed like we were here all afternoon. All right, Hillcrest coming up over the ball. Peterson leads him out. Flank on the right side is Jacobus. Back pretty deep in the backfield on that flank. And Langley drops back to throw. They set a screen on the near side to Jeff Martinson. He's at the 20. He's at the 15. He's down to the 11-yard line and racked up at the 11 by Rick Kohler. Screen right. He didn't use his blockers as they were on the outside. He just cut back into the middle where he had a lot of green grass to run on and got down to the 11-yard line. First and 10, Hillcrest. <laughs> Reminder tonight, it's the Fergus Falls Otters and the Bemidji Lumberjacks homecoming up at the home of the Otters. Peterson up over the ball. Jacobus flanks on the right side. Out of a deuce backfield. Langley, the quarterback, rolls left. Looks flip to pass out. Strand is hit just as the pass gets there. It was thrown in behind him. Rick Kohler right there and put the kibosh on him as the old pig got there at the same time. It'll be second down and 10 yards to go. The ball back in the vicinity of the 11-yard line in the territory of the Audubon Zephyrs. <laughs> It'd be a good time, Jack, to have a cup of good hot chocolate from the country kitchen here at halftime. Maybe Mr. Nelson will run us out one. Frank goes left. There's a reverse coming back to Jacobus. Kicked up on a good defensive play at the 12-yard line. Let's give the kid credit. Alan Burke was stayed at home, and he stopped that play for a loss of two. Third down and about 12 yards to go. Hillcrest leading Ottoman 24 zip. They got them all stuffed into that first period. Hillcrest up over the ball. They run out of a deuce backfield. Jacobus to flank on the left side and Langley down underneath the center. Langley here's that reverse and it's the quarterback pass. Wide open is Martinson. He has the touchdown. Jeff Martinson on a halfback pass from about 12 yards out and it's 30 to nothing now. People are 
having their prescriptions filled at White Drug in Fergus Falls. Visit the shed downstairs at St. Clara Rovang in Fergus Falls for Farrah, Levi, and Sedgefield jeans and your favorite styles of shirts and sweaters. For an outstanding deal on a Cadillac, Buick, or Chevrolet and service to match, see Minnesota Motors, your personal dealer, Pebble Lake Road in Fergus Falls. Small enough to know you, but big enough to serve you in a big way. That's Security State Bank of Fergus Falls, the bank that knows what helping people is all about. After the ball game or after anything, take time out for a real lip smack and treat at Haugen's Ice Cream Parlor and Restaurant in the Fergus Falls City Center Shopping Center. All right, we're ready as Simonson will boot the ball away. Here's his kick, a good kick. It'll go to the five-yard line, picked off there by Brandon. Brandon to the far side, trying to get some room. We'll get out to the 18, and that's it. On the bottom of the stack, number 33 is Jeff Martinson making the defensive play. They tried to set up a wall on the right side, and uh, there just wasn't any wall, and uh, Mr. Brandon was hit down. Let's put him on the 18. First and 10 at that point. 32 to nothing. Hillcrest out in front. It ought to have been come up over the ball. They run out of a deuce backfield. Call it the quarterback, hands off Marchenbecker, puts his head down, gets short, just shy of the 20-yard line. Martinson on the play. Also is Dan Brew. And we'll give him two, make it second down and eight as the ball is just shy of the 20-yard line in the territory of the Zephyrs. Ought have been coming up over the ball. They line up in a deuce again, flank right. The flank man on the right side is Ron Makala. Kohler, the quarterback, pitches back. Trying to get around the corner is Rick Kohler, and he's going to be hit down at about the 18-yard line. <laughs> Jerry Martinson over there pushing him out of bounds on the far side. And it'll be a third down and about nine yards to go. <laughs> Ought have been taking a lot of time. Now they break out of the huddle. Coming up over the ball is Alan Berquist. Out of a deuce again. Flank on the right side. Back to throw is Kohler. Kohler looks. Fires it up the middle. Nearly intercepted. It was deflected by Jacobus. Into the hands of Strand, and he couldn't hang on to it. Incomplete pass. We got a fourth down. Ought have been forced into a kicking situation again. And Marchenbecker will give that leg a little bit of work again. Marchenbecker will kick the ball away somewhere around his 10-yard line. A strand goes back in single safety. The snap is high. The kick. Oh, he gets a beauty away. Strand goes back. Watches it bounce. Bounces at the 18. Rolls to the 20. Strand picks it up. Tries to get outside. He's at the 22 and hit out at the 24. That was a 50-yard kick from line of scrimmage by Marchenbecker, and he got a leg in that one. And the hang time, it was up there a long time, but nobody got downfield very quickly on it. At the 28-yard line, it'll be first and 10 for the Hillcrest Academy Comets. Boy, Stan took a chance picking that one up, laying back there at about the 20-yard line. Up over the ball comes Yembo. They run out of a deuce flank, or out of an eye, flank right. Little mix up in the play. There's a pitch out to Johansson, and Hayes hit at the 30-yard line. Marchenbecker up there, along with Berquist. They put him down just shy of the 30-yard line. Let's give him about a half a yard, make it second and nine and a half. Uh, of all handling the quarterbacking duties now for Hillcrest as they have Anderson and Johansson as the back. There's a handoff to Anderson. Hit down as he gets to the 30-yard line. Wrapping him up. Two guys actually getting credit on the play. We'd have to give credit to Larry Mose, Moses and also to Pete Guttenberg. Gets over the 30 at the 31-yard line. Third down and about seven and a half. 
Well into the second period of play, 32 to nothing, Hillcrest out in front of Audubon. The flank on the right side is Phil Peterson. Estevo, the quarterback, down underneath. Estevo drops back to throw, cranks it up the middle. Incomplete pass intended for Halbachen. Good defensive play, knocking it down is coming over with Rick Kohler. It'll be fourth down. And Hillcrest apparently in a kicking situation. But with a 32-point lead and the ball at their own 31, anything can happen. Rick Kohler, 170-pound senior for Audubon, drops back in single safety as John Estevo will put the foot into the football. Ready to go. The snap, a wobbler. He's going to pass, however, and it's complete. They have the first down as a pass goes to Jacobus. Jacobus breaks clear, and he's going to have a touchdown. Off the fake punt, Jacobus gets a touchdown on a 48-yard run. But I think we're going to bring it back. There's a flag on the play back in the backfield. And they're talking about Schoenbecker. And they're going to bring it back. Well, we haven't had the signal as yet. And it's a long one. So someone got their meat hooks on the wrong guy at the wrong time. It'll be a fourth down. And ineligible downfield. No personal foul. He gave us the wrong signal, though, for it. And that means that someone did not have their tooth guardian, apparently. All right, ready for the snap. Estevo, line drive, kicks it away, bounces at the 35 and is downed at the 35-yard line territory of the Hillcrest Academy Comets where Audubon will come offensively. First and 10, Audubon. Audubon in the territory of the Hillcrest Academy Comets. They trail 32 zip in the ball game. Waiting now as Audubon come up. They'll run with their two setbacks, Kohler and Mutchenbecker, flank on the left side. Donnie Kohler back to two. He is hit just as he got ready, but the arm was coming forward. It'll go as an incomplete pass. Downfield that time, behind the secondary was Pete Gottenberg. Kohler just did not have a chance to crank that one up and get it away. Second down and still 10 yards to go. Well into the second third with Hillcrest in front of Audubon, 32 to nothing. Again out of a deuce backfield. Mackle has the flank on the right side. Donnie Kohler, the quarterback, drops straight back. Screen pass on the side to Rick Kohler. Rick Kohler at the 30, cuts inside, breaks clear, gets away from everybody at the 10-5 touchdown. 35-yard touchdown pass on the screen to Rick Kohler and Audubon are on the board. Rick Kohler on the pass, 35 yards, and it's 32 to 6 now. All right, they'll go for the two. Martin Becker and Rick Kohler, the two setbacks. Donnie Kohler, the quarterback, as they flank left. Kohler rolls out the far side. He's not going to get anything as Peterson wraps him up back on the 10. 32-6, Hillcrest. We'll be back after this word. If you're looking for a sports magazine on fishing, flying, football, or hunting, you'll... Well, we're back again as Martin Becker will boot the ball away. Beautiful screen pass, a great run by Rick Kohler. There's a kick, a good kick going down. Picked off by Jacobus. He's up to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, and down to the 22-yard line. Making the defensive play was Alan Berquist. 
Hillcrest with the ball at their own 22. They lead it 32-6. They'll come offensively. And we haven't had any indication as to how much time is left at all. In fact, we haven't had the four minutes. Still four minutes left in this second period. I don't know, it's cooled off quite a bit, but I didn't think it had cooled off enough to slow the clock down. That first period seemed like it was about a week and a half. The second period doesn't seem to be any shorter than that. All right, Hillcrest up over the ball. Langley back in at quarterback as they run out of the wishbone. Ought to have been jamming the defense. Langley back to throw. He's being chased back there, and he's going to be hit down at the 12-yard line. Making the defensive play was Todd Brandon, a 160-pound senior who came from the left side and shagged him all the way across the field. <laughs> Second down and a transcontinental trip for the first down. They got about 18 yards to go for it. Less than four minutes remaining here in the second third. 32 to six. Hillcrest out in front. Peterson up over the ball. Langley, the quarterback, sets down underneath as they flank right. There's a handoff to Martinson. Martinson hit as he gets up to about the 13-yard line. Mutchenbecker is there. He was the second one to get to him, but on the bottom of the sack and getting away from there, we have to give credit to Paul Tim. <laughs> Third down in about 15, and with the score 32-6, Hillcrest in front. Time out. We'll go back and listen to this. Visit Interstate Service and for calls featuring two floors filled with big values and famous brand name merchandise for your car, your home, and. All right, we're ready to go. As Simonson will kick off again. Good boot, and but it's good. The wind is going to catch it. Goes out of bounds about the eighth. That means they're going to bring it out to the. 30-yard line. And uh, Audubon will put it in play there. Of course, in 11-man uh, football, the ball would come out to the 40. This is an 80-yard field in 9-man. They bring it out to the 30-yard line. First and 10, Audubon, as we got to be late, late in the first half. 40-6. to six. Hillcrest out in front. Audubon lines up in a deuce flank right. Johnny Kohler drops back to throw. He looks. He fires it downfield. Intercepted by Strand at the 20. Near side to the 30. He's to the 35 to the 40. And hit out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Territory of Audubon. Popping him out at that point was Paul Tim. Boy, that was kind of a dying swan. He got it up in the air, and it just floated up there, and Strand just ran under it to make the interception. Pass was intended downfield for Ron Makala, but did not get to him. And now I wonder how much time we got left. All right, Hillcrest with a flank right. Estimo, the quarterback, hands off to Anderson, fights his way on the left side up to the 32-yard line. Gottenberg there, Mutzenberg, and also in on the play was Paul Tim. Second down and seven yards to go for the Hillcrest Academy Comets. And there is the end of the first half with the score. Hillcrest 40, Audubon 6. We'll be back after this word. Buy your lawn and leisure time equipment where you find dependable service. Ebers Villa Implement Company, your authorized John Deere dealer. Pass. Actually, the wing back or the flanker, Jacobus, pass to Martinson. Good for 35 yards and their 38th point to make it 38-6. Then the pass to Halbachen uh, at about the three-yard line. He avoided a tackler and went in, made it 40-6, to six, and that's the way we sit 
right now with the Hillcrest Academy Comets out in front. Reminder, of course, tonight we'll be up at the high school football field where the Otters will try to continue their unbeaten string as they have now won a four in a row and they're looking for big number five. Hillcrest have won three in a row looking for number four and well on the way here at halftime against the Audubon Zephyrs. Teams are coming back on the field and we should be getting underway momentarily. Audubon down to our right warming up. Joe Selovich, the coach who we said had been at Audubon for 16 years, has had great success. Uh, he's had a little trouble here this afternoon, and of course it all started out with that uh, bouncy ball in the end zone that uh, they coughed up to a touchdown on in the early goal, and then Jay Johnson got hurt, and uh, that took a little steam out of his effort. Hillcrest off to another great start as they picked up touchdowns early, and it's kind of uh, nice to get a couple of them early and then uh, force the opponent to go to work. Hillcrest coming back on the field. Both teams are on the field now, and we'll be ready in just a moment, but while we have a moment waiting for the start of the second half, let's go back and listen to this good word. Remodeling is easy with the help of Lampert Building Center's remodeling service in Fergus Falls. Since higher costs lead to higher rates, Otter Tail Power Company of Fergus Falls urges their customers to use electricity wisely. It's too valuable to waste. H&L OK Hardware in Fergus Falls, your complete locally owned hardware store, is also your headquarters for quality gilt edge paints with an unlimited color selection and quality second to none. For prompt, courteous service on all your prescriptions, stop at either Andrews and Meister Uptown or South Pharmacies, two conveniently located Walgreen Agency drugstores in Fergus Falls. While we're back again, and the captain's coming out to midfield to discuss the options to start the second half. Coming out for Audubon, we see a motion Becker. And color for uh, Hillcrest, there's Langley, uh, Tostenson, and Hillcrest will be receiving, Audubon will be kicking off. Now I suppose we could be real cozy. We're sitting on one side of the field. We see a lot of people in the cars across the way. If you're listening to the game on your radio, would you blink your lights in your cars, please? There's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, not too many. There's the number six blinking across the way. Now you can shut them off now. You might not get home. Thank you. All right, we're ready now as we move into the second half. Hillcrest, as we said, are rated number two in the uh, polls as far as the uh, state ratings are concerned in nine-man football. And, of course, that seems to be the situation for Hillcrest as far as their football is concerned. Kind of the bridesmaid, never the bride. Uh, two state runners-up, ranked two again. And, of course, if you're going to be ranked two, uh, that's a pretty good position as far as uh, class is concerned. And, of course, in nine-man football now this year, as was the case last year, the conference champion will advance. So the ratings really don't mean that much anymore. The computer ratings used to determine who would go where, when, and if you would. But right now, all the Comets are interested in in the ball game that they have at hand right here. They... Uh, have the Audubon Zephyrs who trail 40 to 6. Next week, of course, they go on the road. They'll be up at Eulen Hitterdahl going against the Eulen Hitterdahl uh, Spartans. And they're a very excellent football team. Well, we're still waiting for this one to get underway in the second half. I wonder if that's Reminder again that tonight we'll be up at the high school as the Otters will go against a very tough Bemidji Lumberjack crew. Reminder also tomorrow, Coffee Cup at 915. Coaches will be in there, and as we say all the time, you will either find out why they won or why they lost. 
And, of course, tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, the Fergus Falls Community College will be up at Concordia College, where they will be going against the Concordia JVs. We will not be carrying that one. Uh, that is right at coffee cup time, and there's just no way that we can get the two of them in. Previous commitments make it that we will have coffee cup. <laughs> bringing the football out now, setting it down uh, to start the second half. 40 to 6, as we said, Hillcrest out in front. <laughs> On a very cool fall afternoon here at the home of the Comets. <laughs> We see some former Audubon athletic stars down below us. We see a brother to the Mutzenbecker that's playing right now. He was an excellent baseball player and football player and basketball player at the home of the Zephyrs. Over here trying to fire up the Zephyrs who trail by 34 at 40 to 6. Brent Mutzenbecker will kick the ball away. We'll wait and see how Hillcrest will go. Well, they haven't deployed yet to receive. Everything kind of slow moving in this ball game. It started out that way and it just hasn't changed the cotton picking bit. Mutz and Becker will boot it away. Excellent athlete, only a junior. He's Mr. Everything. Hillcrest go deep with Mike Strand and Brent Jacobus. Mochenbecker forward, good kick down the middle. Strand at the three. Hayes up to the 10, near side. Cuts back to the 15 to the 20. Spins over the 20 to the 23 yard line. Down at the 23 and making the defensive play on him was Randy Sherbrook. First and 10 for the Hillcrest Academy Comets who lead it 40 to six here in the opening goal of the third period. <laughs> Peterson coming up over the ball, leading Hillcrest out. They'll line up at a wishbone tee. Langley pitches back. Martinson turns the corner. He's at the 30, spins away from one to the 40, and is out of bounds at about the 38-yard line territory of the Audubon Zephyrs. Over there prepping now was Rick Kohler, but not until Martinson had picked up enough for the first down. That would be Jeff Martinson. Jerry plays an end. Jeff plays in the backfield. again over the ball balanced in the line running out of a wishbone out of jamming the defense just a little bit down the line comes strand tries to turn the corner hemmed in gets away from two or three spins his way down to the 33 yard line having a shot at him behind the line of scrimmage was paul tim he couldn't hang on second down and about three and a half yards to go as the Comets continue to roll. Let's check out of it now as they go defense. They're lining up in an odd defense now. There's a handoff to Strand. Strand tries to get outside. He's inside the 30 at the 28 and down to the 23 yard line. Over there wrestling him down was Randy Sherbrooke. Hillcrest with just too much quickness for the Zephyrs. <laughs> Hillcrest right back up over the ball again. They lead it 40 to 6 out of the wishbone. Defense jammed up tight. Hand off Jacobus. Breaks inside the 20 to the 18 yard line. Goes to the turf in the grasp of Scott Henderson. <laughs> down and about uh, five yards to go. 
Chris quickly up over the ball again as Peterson leads him out. Langley, the quarterback, sets down underneath. They bring Martinson in motion, hand off Jacobus, puts his head down, gets about three, and I'll tell you, he was hit head on there by Sherbrooke. Sherbrooke gave a little ground but hung on, and it's going to be third down and uh, about a yard and a half to go for the first down. Down to about the 16-yard line. Out of a wishbone tee again. Two down linemen for Ottoman. There's a the handoff to Martinson. Cuts to the outside. He has the touchdown. Martinson from 12 yards out puts Hillcrest right back on the board, and they lead it 46-6. <laughs> was about a 12-yard scamper. They'll try now for the two. The flanker comes right, Anderson, the flank on the right out of the eye formation. Estevo, the quarterback. Estevo, hands off, and no good as Johansson could... All right, Jacobus could not get in with the ball. So with the score 46-6 Hillcrest, we go back for this word. For quality name brand building and decorating supplies, see the guys at Cedarson Lumber, 505 South Cascade in Fergus Falls. Cedarson Lumber, where service is foremost. For complete heating and cooling system efficiency, see Mollerud Electric for Westinghouse High Realized Split System Heat Pump. Walks back to the near side to the 10. Scoots his way up to the 20. Out of bounds at that point. Peterson over there to pop him out. Also Jacobus and... Uh, the kicker, Kevin Simonson. They put it right down on the 20-yard line. First and 10 for the Zephyrs of Audubon, who trail in the ball game, 46 to 6. Audubon coming up over the ball. They line up, balanced in the line, run out of a deuce backfield with a flank around on the right side. There's a pitch back to Mochenbecker, puts his head down, battles his way up to the 28-yard line. Estevo coming away with a tackle. Let's give him about nine yards on it, make it second down and a long one yard to go. Youngdale in the ball game for Hillcrest. Bruce Christofferson in the ball game for Hillcrest. Flank goes right. There's a handoff to Kohler. No place to go on a good defensive play as Rick Kohler tried to find some running room. Defensively, let's give credit to Phil Brew. Third down and a little better in the yard still to go. Try and get the names of all these kids if we can in the ball game. Number 80 is Bruce Christofferson. Number 40 is Guy Olson. Out of a deuce. There's the pitch out. Kohler is going to get the first down as he'll get over the 30-yard line. That's Rick Kohler. What I love. What I love. 26 in the ball game is Brian Halbachen. Number 52 is Phil Peterson. Hillcrest on the defense now. Audubon coming up, running out of a deuce, flank right. Quarterback Donnie Kohler down underneath. Kohler pitches back. Rick Kohler tries to get outside. He fights his way over the 35 to the 37 yard line. Over there defensively, Youngdale and Halbachen. And it'll be a second down and about two and a half yards to go for the first down. 46 to 6, Hillcrest cruising out in front. <laughs> Berkowitz comes up over the ball. Out of a deuce, flank left this time. There's a hand up to Motion Becker, busts his way over the 40 and down to the 35 in the territory of Hillcrest. Coming away from the bottom is Guy Olson. First and 10 Audubon, they trail 46-6. We're in the third period of play. 
I'll tell you, Audubon have not lost any of their zip. They hustle right up that ball. And they come to play. There's the handoff to Martin Becker. He gets to the 30. Youngdale pop, got back. And Youngdale in on the tackle along with number 5-2. That would be Phil Peterson. But not until uh, Mr. Mutzenbecker had picked up four, make it second down and six as the ball nuzzles up to the 30 in the territory of the Hillcrest Academy Comets. Audubon coming up. Donnie Kohler, the quarterback. He's been quarterback all the way. Rick Kohler and Mutzenbecker, the setback. Back. And rolling out is Donnie Kohler. Gets away from one and fights his way down to the 20-yard line. Enough for the first down. Audubon on the go. They fail 46-6. We apologize for our equipment problems early in the ball game. Seem to all be cleared up now. All right. Out of a deuce again, two down linemen, actually a four-man front. There's Danny Kohler handing off to Mutzenbecker, puts his head down, gets inside the 20 to the 17-yard line, and they're on a the tackle with Phil Brew. A cool afternoon, I'll kid you not. Out of a deuce again, flank comes left. Four-man defensive front, there's a pitch to Rick Kohler, fights to the outside, then back inside, and will get down about the 11-yard line. Wrapping him up at that point was a Guy Olson and Phil Brew. Into the ball game for Hillcrest. Well, I think there's a change in that one. We do not have it on the roster, but I think it's Kepstra coming into the ball game. We'll try and catch that one if we can. Out of a deuce backfield. Out of on the offense. And Kohler trying to roll right. Kohler spins away from one. Going to get back to the 11-yard line, and that's the extent of it. See, John, that's <laughs> Good word on Jay. He has uh, uh, strained neck muscles, but he'll be coming back to watch. So if there's anybody up, ought to have been way listening. It's good word. Uh, just a strained muscle in the neck, and Jay will be back to watch the last part of this ball game. We're certainly happy to hear that. Flank comes left out of a deuce backfield. Donnie Kohler off to Mochenbecker. Fights inside the 10 to the 9 yard line. He's going to have the first down. <laughs> Pete McKnight and Phil Brew in on the defensive play, but it's first and goal at the nine in the territory of the Comets. They lead it 46-6. Up over the ball again. Leading them out over the ball is Burquist. Donnie Kohler hands off. Rick Kohler puts his head down. He's going to get to the nine, and that's it. <laughs> in on the defensive play for Hillcrest and it'll be second down and still those nine yards to go. About halfway through the third period. Up over the ball in the deuce backfield, flank left. Four-man defensive front. Snap out to Mochenbecker. He's at the 8, 7, 6, 5-yard line and hit out of bounds. Estebo popping him out there. Let's see just where they put it down. Probably, yes, right about at the 5-yard line. Going to be third down and still goal to go. Chris leading him out over the ball, out of the deuce again. They put the flank this time on the left side. There's a flag on the play. Donnie Kohler keeps and goes in. I think we'll see procedure. Yes, a legal procedure assessed against Audubon. Good fake by Donnie Kohler. And he rolled left and went in, but all to no avail as they'll step this one off. The ball will come back at the 10-yard line, where it'll still be third and goal to go. 
up over the ball. Let's see how they line. They set in a deuce again. Flank goes right. Donnie Cole, the quarterback, drops back to throw. He looks, lays it out on the side, incomplete, intended for Gottenberg, well covered down on the play. At feet, Jernis is down there, and along with Jernis was John Estebo. And it'll be fourth down, and still goal to go at the 10-yard line. <laughs> been coming up over the ball. Johnny Kohler, the quarterback, sets up down underneath his center. Kohler drops straight back. Kohler looks, fires it up, incomplete, intended for Makala, and Hillcrest will take over. <laughs> Hillcrest take over at their own 10-yard line. <clears throat> And we haven't had any signal of time from the officials. You now, some officials, when you get into a ball game like this where there's no clock on the field, will signal every couple of minutes so that you can give your fans an idea of what the amount of time is left. There's Estebo pitching back to Jacobus. Jacobus is hit at the eight yard line. Back there making the good play was Rick Kohler. He kind of spun him around and uh, got help as he was going down. It'll be second down and about 12 yards to go. Hillcrest coming up over the ball. Leading him out and over the ball now is Bruce Christofferson. Estebo is a quarterback. Estebo drops back. Estebo in trouble. Oh, he nearly had it intercepted. Getting his hands on the ball was Paul Kim, but he couldn't hang on at about the three-yard line, and Gottenberg squeezed Estebo and took him down on the green grass. And there is the end of the third period with the score. Hillcrest 46. Audubon 6 will be back after this word. See why more and more people are having their prescriptions filled at White Drug. Their own 8-yard line. They got third down and about 13 yards to go. See you, fellas. All right, up over the ball. And we had a little mix-up. to go. Back in punt formation goes Estebo. We missed that last play. We we're talking to some of the kids from the Children Dome, and now uh, Estebo is back in punt formation. Gets a high kick away, not too far downfield. It hits at about the 35-yard line. It's touched down at that point. Ought to have been with field position at Hillcrest 35. They're down in the ball game 46-6. Let's see if we can get the kids. Number 20 is McKnight. See if there's any new ones again now. 76, Youngdale. Ought to have been coming up over the ball. Leading them out over the ball is uh, Bergquist. They line up in a double wing tee and bring back in motion. Mackela give it off to Motzenbecker. He's inside the 30 at the 29-yard line. First time we've seen him use that uh, today. They lined two halfbacks on the corners. Martin Becker was a single deep man. They brought uh, Mackle the one wing man, back in motion, then handed off to Martin Becker, went right up to Pipe. Second down, about four yards to go. Again, lining up in a double wing team. Macklet back in motion. Again, they pitch back to him, tries to turn the corner. He's inside the 20, and he gets all the way down to the 10-yard line. <laughs> Defensively, making the play on him would have to be Neptra, and I imagine we're really slaughtering that name. All the girls would probably know. <laughs> It's enough for the first down. Ought to have been on the go. They trail 46 6 as we're in the fourth period of play.
Uh, how do you like that? A girl been standing here watching the whole game, and it's 46 to 6, and she says, who's winning? <laughs> Joyce from Hillcrest. All right, ready to go again. There's the hand off, and no place to go for Rick Kohler. It's a good defensive play that time by Bruce Christopherson, busting through and hitting him back at about the 25-yard line. <laughs> It'll be second down and about uh, 13 yards to go. We're in the fourth period of play, 46-6. Hillcrest out in front, ought to have been up over the ball. They line up in a deuce flank left. McAuley in the uh, flank spot. Donnie Kohler rolls out, goes left, cuts to the outside. He's at the 10, 20, down to the 10, and hit down at the 10-yard line. Nepto making the stop at the 10. That'll be enough for the first down. Conceivably, they could get the first down without the touchdown as the ball is about a six inches short of the 10-yard line. Deuce backfield, Rick Kohler and Mutchenbacker are the setbacks. And we're going to have a penalty assessed against uh, Christofferson. Got a little bit eager. He'll bring it back to about the five or down to the five yard line. First and goal at the five. <laughs> Set up with a flank right. There's a pitch back to Mochenbecker. Puts his head down. He's to the two-yard line. Tipping him up on a play with Pete McKnight. Fell forward for another half yard. And they move it back. Say knee touched it to three. Second down and uh, about two and three-quarters yards to go for the first down. Three for the touchdown. Out of a deuce. Hand off. Martin Becker, flag on the play, and he's down to the one-yard line. And what are we going to see on the play? We got a hold against uh, Audubon. Well, Audubon scored a touchdown early and lost it on the penalty, and now they're in the same situation right here again. A holding penalty is going to bring them back outside the... 15 yard line to about the 18. Down to remain the same, of course. Second down, but they got a piece of property to cover now. Makala flanks on the right side. Danny Kohler sets up behind Burke with his center. Kohler back to throw a little screen out to Rick Kohler. Gets away from one. And we're going to have a flag on the play for a clip, I think, on the far side. I think we're going to see a clip on the far side somewhere around the 18-yard line. And they're discussing the option with Anderson of Hillcrest. Paul Anderson, a 5'11 senior. Now they'll step it off. And now Audubon are going to be back at about their 33 yard line. Well, they've had two touchdowns called back here since the start of the second half. And now they're back there, and they've got about 33 yards to go for the first down. 33 and a half for the touchdown. Little dumper to Gottenberg made a great grab, and we're going to have a pass interference. That's what it is. And now we're going to yo-yo the ball back the other way. Those guys in his zebra-colored shirts are going to walk it off. <laughs> Well, they're discussing this option with Motzenbecker this time. <laughs> well, there they step it off. I'll tell you, the referee is going to get leg weary from prancing back and forth on the penalties here in the fourth period. <laughs> It's, they 
give first down at the 16-yard line on the pass interference, and ought to have been right back after it again. All right, flank comes right. Danny Kohler, the quarterback, pitches back. Rick Kohler turns the corner. He's down to about the 11-yard line. Hit there by a host of scarlet-clad uh, comets. <laughs> be second down now and about four yards to go. Moments ago, they could have made a first down at the one-foot line. Now they can make a first down at the five-yard line. All right, ready to go. Flank comes right. There's a hand up. Marschenberger puts his head down, gets very close to the first down. He's down around the seven-yard line, six-yard line. Let's see. They put it down on the seven. It'll be a third down and less than one. They're going to bring the chains in now to measure it. They stretch it out, put it down, and they're short by, oh, about, uh, well, let's say a yard. All right, ought to have been up over the ball. They'd like to get on the board. It out. Keeps, goes to the outside, turns the corner. He's at the two to one touchdown. Johnny Kohler on the rollout. And ought to have been on the board now, trailing 46-12. And they'll try to convert on the two-point conversion, of course. Coming in the ball game is Randy Sherbrooke. Coming out of the ball game, Makala for Audubon. Out of a deuce, flank right. Sherbrooke, the flank on the right side. Back to throw, Donny Kohler. He looks, decides to run, didn't make it. 46-12. They'll come back upfield and kick off, and we'll go back and listen to this. If you're looking for a sports magazine on fishing, flying, football, or... No. Number 14, John Jacobson. Well, on the first play from scrimmage, about three yards, it'll be second down and seven for Hillcrest. Simonson, the quarterback. Jacobson, the flank on the left side as they run out of an eye formation. Back to throw Simpson. Oh, and he's going to be hit back at the 39-yard line on a good defensive play that time by Larry Moses. He rolled left, tried to find some running room, and all he found there was Larry Moses, and Moses put him down to the turf at the 39 in Hillcrest territory. It'll be third down, and for all intents, 10 yards to go. They line up in a deuce backfield. Jim Sunday at one of the spots and back to throw Simpson. He fumbles the ball, picking it up and hit down at the 8-yard line was Moses. Or at the 18-yard line was Moses. Larry Moses with two big defensive plays for Audubon. Inside the final five minutes of the fourth period, 46 to 12, ought to have been on a short end of things. And they come up over the ball at their 18, at uh, Hillcrest 18 yard line. Out of a deuce, flank right. There's a hand out to Motionbacker. He's going to get about two. He fumbled the ball and Hillcrest come right back with it. Well, they're playing, you don't want it, or I don't want it. You can have it, it's too hot for me. And Hillcrest got it right back again at about their 14 yard line. 46 to 12, Hillcrest have wrapped up their fourth in a row for 78, only a matter of the final score. Up over the ball. Hillcrest coming offensively, let's say on their 13. All right, ready to go out of an eye formation. 
Simpson, the quarterback, hands off, trying to get outside on the far side with Jim Sunday. He's going to get a couple, and that's all. Making the defensive play was Paul Kim. Game is kind of slowed up. Everybody are walking up to the ball already. Simpson again. Simpson hands off, trying to get outside again. Is Sunday, and Sunday's going to get up to about the 18-yard line. Popped down at that point by Chris Gottenberg. It'll be a third down now, and about uh, well, a long six to go for the first down. <laughs> Come out on the left side with Mark Mellingen. All right, ready to go. Back to throw. No, he's not. He fumbles the ball, and who's got it this time? Elkes coming back up with the ball, and covering the ball on the play was Guy Olson. As the ball gets up to the 19-yard line, and Hillcrest will be forced to kick it away. <laughs> Thank you. We gave you the report earlier that we thought Jay Johnson would be getting back to the ball game. Jay, who had a strained neck muscle, hurt early in the ball game. We're certainly glad that he's back here at the ball game and glad to hear that he's all right. All right, in punt formation. Oh, they run a short snap, come to the outside with Langley, and Langley is going to be hit down as he gets the first down up at the 28-yard line. Big punt. Langley, the short man in the front formation, rambled out to the first down at the 28-yard line. Well, with this cold weather, I don't know which is running the fastest. My nose or the football players. On the 28, Hillcrest coming offensively, leading at 46-12. Mix up in the backfield. They get the ball handed off to Sunday, and he got kaboomed at the 27-yard line. Simpson and uh, Sunday ran together on the handoff. <laughs> Simonson, okay, all the girls know his name is Simonson. Joyce didn't even know the score or who was playing, but she knows his name is Simonson. All right, ready to go, hand off up the middle, out to the 29-yard line. All right, Estebo in a quarterback now. Number 77 coming in is Kwame. <laughs> Up over the ball. Out on the left side comes Mark Malligan as a flanker. There's a snap back. Estevo back to two. He fires it downfield. Caught! Caught in a touchdown for Mark Foss. Let's see, that would be a uh, 10, 50-yard pass to Mark Foss. Beautiful grab by Foss over the shoulder, and it's 52-12. Hillcrest, is that of all the deep man in the eye formation, just cranked the ball up in the air and let Foss run underneath it. All right, ready to go out the eye again. Estevo, the quarterback. Estevo hands off. There's no place to go. 52-12. Hillcrest lead it. We'll be back after this word. Visit Interstate Service for the kickoff. There's a good kick. It'll go in the end zone. They'll bring it out to the 15-yard line. First and 10 at that point for Audubon. And we haven't had an indication now as to how much time is left. It can't be very much left now. 52 to 6. Hellcrest lead it. And I hope we can wrap this one up after the game. We got chicken scratching all over here. It's going to be very hard to read. <laughs> 
Donovan will come offensively again. <laughs> Up over the ball comes Birdquist. They set in a deuce backfield, flanked around on the left side with uh, Kohler dropping back to throw. He looks, he puts it up for grabs. Downfield intended for Todd Brandon. Brandon could not catch up with it at about the 25 yard line. He got behind the secondary, there's no doubt of that, but the pass was well overthrown. Jacobson back in the ball game for Hillcrest. Number 66 is Helleran. Kohler back to throw. Kohler cranks down on the side. Incomplete. Little halfback flip back there, and that's the end of the ball game. Hillcrest win it 52 to 12. We'll be back after this word. When you need a hardware store and a whole lot more, go Gambles in downtown Fergus Falls, featuring two floors filled with big values and famous brand name merchandise for your car, your home, and your farm. See AA Western Luggage in Fergus Falls for comfortable, great fitting Western boots for the entire family. Their boots are made for walk-in. For all your farm feed and seed supplies, see Farmer's Co-op Elevator, your Hubbard dealer, serving the Fergus Falls area. When you need a checkup, see a doctor. When you need legal advice, see a lawyer. When you need duplicating, see Secretarial Service, 309 West Lincoln Avenue in Fergus Falls, specializing in typing and office duplication. <laughs> Well, let's wrap it up very quickly. It all began when Audubon could not get a point away in the first third in her own end zone. Johansson fell on it with six to nothing. Hillcrest Stan got the two extra points with eight to nothing. Then Jacobus from one yard out made it 14 to nothing. Jeff Martinson with the extra points it was 16 to nothing. Then Jeff Martinson on a ramble made it 22 to nothing. Langley rolled in for the extra points and it was 24 to nothing Hillcrest after one. Jacobus. Pass to Martinson, uh, made it uh, 30 to nothing. Then uh, pass to Jerry Martinson, made it 32 to nothing. Then Rick Kohler got Audubon on the board on a 35-yard screen pass, made it 32-6. The extra point tries no good, it was 32-6. Jacobus passed to Martinson for 35, made it 38-6. Then the pass to Halbach and made it 46, and that was your halftime score. In the third period, Martinson from 12 yards out made it 46-6. The extra point tried no good. That's the way it was after three. Then Donnie Kohler from four yards out rolled in, and Audubon got on the board, made it 46-12. The extra point tries no good. Then a 50-yard aerial taken over the shoulder by Mark Foss for Hillcrest made it 52-12. The extra point tried no good. And the final score, the Hillcrest Academy Economists remaining unbeaten as they won their fourth fourth in a row, defeating Audubon here this afternoon, 52-12. For the Audubon Zephyrs now, their record goes up to one and three. For Oats Grand reminder that tomorrow at 9.15, we'll be having coffee cup with the coaches. You can find out the whys, the reasons why they have won or lost. And a reminder also that tonight we'll be bringing you more high school football as we have the Fergus Falls Otters and the Hill and the uh, Bemidji Lumberjacks going at it, homecoming at the home of the Otters. So for this afternoon from Hillcrest, once again, in Agassiz Valley Conference play, nine-man variety, the Hillcrest Academy come at 52, the Audubon Zephyrs 12, this is Zos Legrand, I'll say good afternoon, and returning you to our studio. Four minutes past five. <laughs>